If you keep knocking on that door and they're not opening, fucking build one yourself. My name is Angie Mare and I'm a jewelry designer and my brand is called Diaboli Kill. I decided to take classes in jewelry making. I ended up really loving it. And then just in time I got laid off and I had extra time. So I ended up going to find jewelry school full time. And I studied under a Finnish master jeweler named Yuka, who was incredible. And he really pushed me hard. He saw that I had a talent for making jewelry. And I was like, okay, I'll keep doing it because I just became really obsessed with it. Um, and it was, for me, creating a piece of permanent art that you can wear and pass down for generations. This ring, I actually designed it for myself. I had these black onyx horn stones and then one day I just put the stones on my hands and I'm like, oh, you know what? I really like how they look sitting on my hands like that. I just felt like I was a master. And control. I named it Damien because Damien means to subdue. So when you wear this ring, I feel like it gives you this power. It's also made with black onyx and black onyx repels negative energy and it makes you feel self-confident. But also the design of the ring is made to do that too. Because once you put that thing on, we're like, whoa, don't mess with that person. Rihanna wore them in the September issue of W Magazine, and it was a really big surprise. I had a death side appointment with W Magazine, and they were like, you have to give us all your jewelry because we're shooting a really big shoot. And they wouldn't tell me who it was, but I figured it was probably like Beyonce or Rihanna. I was like, yes, you can have whatever you need. My inspiration initially started from my Egyptian background. My house, we had a lot of Egyptian sculptures and pieces of art on papyrus and books about Egypt. It makes sense now. As it became more refined, I was looking at ancient Egyptian architecture and design for inspiration. I collect Art Deco period jewelry, and a lot of Art Deco design is inspired by ancient Egypt as well, so it all kind of ties in together. And then with my jewelry, I just try to like marry the both ancient Egyptian art deco, but make it edgy and contemporary stuff that I would want to wear. I found my voice. I always had it, but it was kind of on volume one. <laughs> so now I just like let go and I'm comfortable with myself. It was just liberating because I'm like, I'm doing the best I can. I just stopped caring what people thought and it was great. <laughs>